Camelot is a strategy board game for two players. One of the first games published by Parker Brothers, it was invented late in the 19th century by George S. Parker and originally published under the name Chivalry. The game flourished through dozens of editions and numerous variants, achieving its greatest popularity in the 1930s, but remained in print through the late 1960s. In the 1980s, Parker Brothers briefly republished the game under the name Inside Moves. Since then the game has been out of print, but retains a core of fans who look forward to another revival. Camelot is easily learned and without extensive practice or theory, thus perhaps more accessible for novices to play and enjoy compared to either chess or checkers. The game is exceptionally tactical almost from the first move, and therefore quick to play to a conclusion. A World Camelot Federation has been created, with free membership, led by Michael W. Nolan. The game was featured in issues of Abstract Games magazine. Basic Rules The game is played on a board of 160 squares, which is roughly rectangular, with three squares removed from each of the four corners and four extra squares extending outside the main rectangle, to each of the top and bottom of the board. These two square areas are called the castles. Each player starts the game with 14 pieces. Four knights and ten men, set up as shown. Winning the object of the game is to be the first player to occupy the opponent's castle with two of your own pieces, or to capture all of your opponent's pieces while retaining two or more of your own pieces. Move rules Both knights and men can move either horizontally, vertically, or diagonally in three ways, as follows. One space in any direction. This is called a plane move. A leaping move over an adjacent friendly piece to a vacant space immediately beyond. Multiple leaps over a player's own pieces are permitted. Countering is always optional. A jumping move over an adjacent enemy piece to a vacant space immediately beyond. The enemy piece is captured and removed from the board. As in checkers, multiple jumps are allowed, and capturing is obligatory whenever it is possible. Men may make any of the three moves, but only one type of move per turn. Knights have a fourth option. A combination move consisting of a counter immediately followed by a jump. This is called the knight's charge. The knight may, in this single move, perform multiple counters, followed by multiple jumps, but the counter must precede the jump. A knight may not combine a plain move with a counter or a jump. History In 1882, George S. Parker began working on an abstract board game called Chivalry. His goal was to create a game not so difficult as chess, but considerably more varied than checkers. Parker created a game that was a complex, tactical, but an easily learned and quickly played mixture of Halma and Checkers. When finally published by Geo, S. Parker & Co. In 1887, Chivalry won the raves of chess and checkers experts. But the game Parker called the best game in 2000 years did not catch on quickly with the general public. However, Parker never lost his enthusiasm for the game, and in 1930 he made a few changes, and Parker Brothers republished it under the name of Camelot. A few more rules changes followed in 1931. Camelot enjoyed its greatest popularity in the 1930s. Camelot players included Jose Raul Capablanca, world chess champion from 1921 to 1927, and Frank Marshall, U.S. chess champion from 1907 to 1936. Sidney Lenz and Milton Work, two world-famous bridge players, also played the game. There were over 50 different editions of Camelot sets issued, including a gold-stamped leather edition and a mahogany cabinet edition. There were tournament editions, irregular editions, and low-cost editions. Camelot was eventually discontinued in 1968, then reissued as Inside Moves in 1985, and finally discontinued again in 1986. Parker Brothers marketed several game variants. 
Grand Camelot, a variant for four players on a special large board, was released in 1932. Cam, a variant played on a miniature board, came out in 1949. There was also a point Camelot variant, three-handed and four-handed variants, and even a variant called Camelotta. None of these variants ever achieved the popularity of the basic game. World Camelot Federation The World Camelot Federation, an international non-profit organization, was formed by Michael Wortley Nolan in 1999 to preserve and popularize the game. The WCF has introduced some rules, clarifications, additions, and changes. It organized a Camelot World Championship tournament with 12 participants, which concluded in June 2003, with Dan Troika of Michigan winning the World Champion title. A new World Championship tournament began in 2008 and concluded in 2009, with Troika retaining his crown. Sample Game White Michael Nolan Black Dan Troika Event WCF Camelot World Championship Game 4, March 2009 1, E6J8I11G92H6J8I10G123F6H8J11I114 J6HSD11F9 5J8I9G12I10G86H8XJ8C11E9 7, G8 F8 I11 H128, F8 F6 H12 G129, J8 I9 H10 X J8, 10, H6 F8 X H10 X H12 X F12 X H10 D10 F8 X H6 X J6 X H8 X H6 11, G6 C6 E9 G9 C11 12, I6 I7. J8 X H6 13 F7 G7 H6 X F8 14 E7 X G9 X E9 X G11 X G9 I11 H1 2 15 G9 F8 H1 2 G1 2 16 F6 E7 G1 2 F1 2 17 D7 E6 E11 F1018 C65 F12 G1119 F8 F7 F11 G1020 D6 F6 E10 F921 D5 D6 G11 H1022 F6 G7 F9 F11 H923 D6 F6 F10 G1124 G7 H8 H9 X H725 E6 6 G8 C6 G11 G9 26 E7 G7 G10 H9 27 I6 H6 G9 I9 28 F7 H7 H10 H8 29 F6 G6 H8 X F6 30 G6 I8 C10 X G8 1 O official WCF rules players the game of Camelot is played between two opponents who move pieces alternately on a Camelot board. The two players are called white and black. The players choose for color. White moves first. Playing surface The Camelot board contains 160 squares of identical size. Ranks are rows of squares, numbered 1 through 16, running horizontally from one side of the board to the other. Files are columns of squares, lettered A through L, running vertically from one end of the board to the other. The squares of the board, with their actual Camelot designation used for game notation, from the bottom rank to the top rank, from the leftmost file to the rightmost file, are F1, G1, C2, D2, E2, F2, G2, H2, I2, J2, B3, C3, D3, E3. F3, G3, H3, I3, J3, K3, A4, B4, C4, D4, E4, F4, G4, H4, I4, J4, K4, L4, A5, B5, C5, D5, E5, F5, G5, H5, I5, J5, K5, L5, A6, B6, C6, D6, E6, 
6, F6, G6, H6, I6, J6, K6, L6, A7, B7, C7, D7, E7, F7, G7, H7, I7, J7, K7, L7, A8, B8, C8, D8, E8, F8. G8, H8, I8, J8, K8, L8, A9, B9, C9, D9, E9, F9, G9, H9, I9, J9, K9, L9, A10, B10, C10, D10, E10, F10, G10, H10, I10, J10, K10, L10, A11, B11, C11. D11, E11, F11, G11, H11, I11, J11, K11, L11, A12, B12, C12, D12, E12, F12, G12, H12, I12, J12, K12, L12, A13, B13, C13, D13, E13, F13, G13, H13, I13. J13, K13, L13, B14, C14, D14, E14, F14, G14, H14, I14, J14, K14, C15, D15, E15, F15, G15, H15, I15, J15, F16, G16. White Castle is composed of two castle squares F1 and G1, and Black's Castle is composed of two castle squares F16 and G16. Pieces Each player begins the game with 14 pieces, 4 knights and 10 men. The starting positions are White knights on c6, d7, i7, and j6, white men on d6, e6, e7, f6, f7, g6, g7, h6, h7, and i6, black knights on c11, d10, i10, and j11, and black men on d11, e10, e11, f10, f11, g10, g11, h10, h11, and I-11 moves the plane move a piece may move one square in any direction to any adjoining unoccupied square. This move is called a plane move. The counter a piece may leap in any direction over a friendly piece that occupies an adjoining square, provided that there is an unoccupied square immediately beyond it in a direct line and to which the leap may be made. This move is called a counter. Pieces cantered over are not removed from the board. A player may canter over more than one piece during the same move, but may not make a canter that ends on the same square from which it began. When cantering over more than one piece in a move, the direction of the move may be varied after each canter. A player is never compelled to canter, nor when cantering is he compelled to canter as far as possible. The jump a piece may leap in any direction over an opposing piece that occupies an adjoining square, provided there is an unoccupied square immediately beyond it in a direct line and to which the leap may be made. This move is called a jump. Each enemy piece jumped over is captured and immediately removed from the board. A player is obliged to jump if any one of his pieces is next to an exposed enemy piece. Having jumped over one enemy piece, the jumping must continue as a part of that same move if the player's piece reaches a square next to another exposed enemy piece. When jumping over more than one piece, the direction of the move may be varied after each jump. If presented with capturing alternatives, a player may choose which opposing piece to capture, and with which of his pieces to effect the capture. When compelled to jump, a player may, if he can, capture by a knight's charge instead. The only situation in which a player may ignore his obligation to jump is when, on his previous move, he has jumped one of his pieces over an opponent's piece into his own castle, ending his turn there, and must, on his next turn, immediately move that piece out from his castle. The knight's charge A knight may combine a canter and a jump in a single move, called a knight's charge. A knight's charge must follow the order of first the canter and last the jump.
A knight is never obliged to make a knight's charge. If the counter of a knight brings it next to an enemy piece that can be jumped, it must do so, unless by a different route later in that same move it captures one or more enemy pieces elsewhere. During a knight's charge, the directions of the last canter and first jump need not be the same. Having jumped over one enemy piece during the jumping portion of a knight's charge, the jumping must continue as a part of that same move if the player's knight reaches a square next to another exposed enemy piece. When jumping over more than one piece during the jumping portion of a knight's charge, the direction of the move may be varied after each jump. Notation The plane move is indicated by the notation, placed between the starting square and the ending square, e.g., c8 d9. The canter is indicated by the notation, placed between the starting square, landed upon intermediate squares, and the ending square, e.g., e6 c8 a8. The jump is indicated by the notation X, placed between the starting square, landed upon intermediate squares, and the ending square, e.g., H4 X J4 X L6. The knight's charge is indicated by the notation, placed between the beginning square of the countering portion, landed upon intermediate squares and the ending square of the countering portion, and the notation X, placed between the ending square of the countering portion, landed upon intermediate squares, and the ending square of the jumping portion, e.g., F6 F8 H8 X H10 X J12. Object The game is one if a player moves any two of his pieces into his opponent's castle, or, the game is one if a player captures all of his opponent's pieces, and has two two or more of his own pieces left, or, the game is won if a player has two or more pieces, and his opponent is unable to make a legal move, drawn game the game is drawn if both players have no more than one piece left, player's own castle a player may not plane move or counter one of his pieces into his own castle, if an enemy piece reaches a square adjacent to his own castle, a player may jump or make the jumping portion of a knight's charge over that enemy piece into his own castle. A player may not, during the countering portion of a knight's charge, move his knight into his own castle. If a player jumps over an opponent's piece into his own castle, and the player's piece is then next to an exposed enemy piece, the jumping must continue as part of that same move. A player who has jumped one of his pieces over an opponent's piece into his own castle, and in so doing was unable to continue the jumping out of his own castle as part of that same move, must, on his next turn to move, immediately move that piece out from his own castle, with no exception. A player moving one of his pieces out from his own castle must jump out, if possible, instead of plane moving or cantering out. If a player has the opportunity to jump out from his own castle, he may, if he can, satisfy the obligation to capture by means of moving out with the knight's charge instead. Opponent's castle A piece that has entered his opponent's castle cannot come out, but is allowed to move from one castle square to the other. A player is limited to two castle moves during a game.